Welcome to a math warehouse video tutorial on the triangle inequality theorem. This can be found on our website, mathwarehouse.com slash tri dash And this video is broken down to three parts, an overview of the formula, why it exists, what it means. Um, then we're going to look at two types of problems. First, The first kind, if I give you three sides of a tr could those sides make up a triangle? And this looks something along the lines of this problem. Could a triangle have side lengths of 4, 8, and 2? By the end of this tutorial, that problem will be a piece of cake. And we're going to wrap it up with questions like this. If I gave you two side lengths, what are all the different values that the third side might have? Something like this. If I told you two sides of a triangle are 3 and 4, what's all the possible values of the third side? Well, the first question I want to ask you is, can you pick any three values for the lengths of triangle sides? In other words, if you just make up three numbers at random, can we definitely make a triangle out of them? Like, um, two, three, four. I just made up three random numbers. Or one, ten, two. Can we always make up triangles from any three numbers that we create? Well, I think one picture will show you that that's not possible. If I make a really small side like 1 maybe, a really long side like 10, and then something like 2, you can see that these numbers 1, 10, and 2, there's no way that we're going to be able to make a triangle from this. So there's obviously some rule or some set of guidelines that can dictate when we can make a uh, triangle out of three numbers. And let's look at the side lengths of 10, 4, and 3. Let's see if we can make a triangle out of that. Now let's look at the relationship between each pair. Let's first compare 10 and 3 and this guy. 10 and 3, it's bigger than 4. Yep. And I'm just going to show you something, and you'll see the value of it in a minute. I just want to point out 10 plus 3 is bigger than 4. Okay. Then let's look at 10 and 4 in relationship to 3. 10 plus 4, that's bigger than 3. Yep. But then there is a difference here. Let's look at this difference and see what that means for the triangle shape in a minute. 4 and 3, when you add them up, they're not bigger than 10. Alright, so what's the big deal? Why are we looking at each pair and seeing what's bigger than the third side? Because that is exactly what the triangle inequality rule is all about. The reason why you cannot make a triangle with side lengths 10, 4, and 3 is because of the picture on the bottom. Here's the 10, here's the 4, here's the 3. No matter how you rotate the 3 and the 4, you can see they're never going to be able to connect in the middle. And the problem is the 4 and the 3. As you can see, the 4 and the 3, they're just not going to be long enough to touch, no matter how hard they try. And that is what the triangle inequality theorem says. It says that every pair, all three pairs, the 10 and the 3, the 10 and the 4, and the 4 and the 3, right? The three ways that we pair them here always has to add up to be bigger than, bigger than the unused side. In other words, 4 and 3, this is the key here for us, 4 and 3 are not bigger than that other side 10. And that's all the triangle inequality says. It says that for a general triangle, side lengths A, B, and C, A plus B must be bigger than C, B plus C must be bigger than A, and A plus C must be bigger than B. If one pair, all we need is that one pair to be a problem, the 4 and the 3, not bigger than the 10, can't make a triangle. Game over. So I want to draw your attention to something that'll, that will kind of come into play later. Notice that the problem we had was with the two smaller sides. When the two smaller sides are not bigger than the, uh, the third side, there's the problem. Because it's always going to be the smaller sides, like the four and the three, that are not going to be able to touch. So when we have three side lengths and we want to know, hey, can this make a triangle? All that we want to focus on is the two smaller sides, add them up, if they're not bigger than the other number, they're not bigger than the 10, can't make a triangle. That's the triangle inequality theorem. Let's practice some problems like this one. Let's look at this problem. Can you make a triangle from 
side lengths of 1, 1, and 2. This is actually a little bit different from the other one. Let's look at how. All right, remember, all that we care about are the two smaller sides. So we're going to look at 1 and 1. We want to see, does 1 plus 1, is that greater than 2? Nope. So the answer is no, we cannot form a triangle. Now, to help convince you of this, I want to take you to our website and show you a live demonstration that is on the site. Um, here we go. All right, this demo here shows you we've got a side length of one. Sorry, this line here is a, is a side length one. This is the same side length, exactly one. The red line it has a C, has a side length of two, so it's the same as the problem we just looked at. Now, watch what happens as side length one on both sides comes closer and closer and we try to make that triangle they try to reach boom not quite able to alright so as you can see if they add up exactly to each other like 1 plus 1 is 2 there's no way to slant the purple and the blue lines they just end up forming another line on top of the other side All right, so if you want to see it one last time side length of 1 side length of 1 I'll fast forward it a little bit here we go, rotate, 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 try to connect, try to connect, they can't. All right, so the point of this example was to emphasize that the side lengths really do have to be larger. One plus one is not larger than two. It's not okay to be equal. The smaller sides must be greater than the third side. Okay, let's check out another problem. Last one of this type, then we'll look at a, a final problem type that I talked about at the beginning. Could a triangle have side lengths of 4, 8, and 2? All right. Identify the two smaller sides. 4 and 2 is 4 plus 2 bigger than 8. Nope. So again, we cannot form a triangle, and I have a little picture of it down here at the bottom for you. So 4 plus 2 is bigger than 8. Um, maybe we should do one more um, set of triangle sides so that we look at an example a little bit different one last example. Okay, can you make a triangle from side lengths 7, 9, and 15? Okay, let's go about our normal method. Let's f identify the smaller two sides and add them up. All right, 7 and 9. 7 plus 9, is that bigger than 15? Yes. So, I did want to show you an example of a triangle that actually worked. I realized all of, every set of sides that we looked at did not work so if you find that 7 plus 9 the two smaller sides is bigger than the third one yes indeed you have three valid side lengths for a triangle okay let's wrap it up with with the hardest type of problem I think that um, the students generally have to answer um, find uh, two sides of a triangle have lengths 3 4 find all possible lengths of the third side well, this is not a, this is a little different, right? Um, let's look at something to try to figure out. I just want us to explore something to try to figure out it before we try to figure out a general way of solving these kind of problems. Okay, so we have three, we have four, and we want to know all the values of x that we could have. Well, if you know your right triangles, you know that five would work. Yep. What about um, 4? Let's just look at a bunch of numbers and try to see if we can figure out what the deal is. Would 4 work? Could we have a triangle 3, 4, 4? Well, for 3, 4, 4, um, two, you know, 3 plus 4 is bigger than 4, so yep, that's good. What about 3? Could we do 3? Could we do 3, 4, 3? 3 plus 3 is bigger than 4? Yep, that's good. Um, what about 2? Could we do 2? Could we do, remember, we're trying to say, hey, 3, 4, x. What are the all the values for x? Um, so what about, so 4 works, 3 works. What about 2? If we do 2, smaller size, 3 plus 2, 5, that's bigger than 4. We're good. What about 1? 3, 4. Four, one, find the two smaller sides, three and one. Is that bigger than four? No. So one does not work. All right, so two is the smallest 
um, integer that works. One problem. Okay. Now let's look on the other side of things. Let's see how big the number can go. So we know one doesn't work, two does. By the way, what about 1.1? Could we do 3, 4, 1.1? Well, 1.1 plus 3 is 4.1. Yeah, that works. So let's, let's adjust this left side and say 1 doesn't work, but anything bigger than 1 works, right? Like 1.1 is good. There, I just wanted to make it look a little nicer. 1 does not work, but 1.1 works. In fact, 1.001 would work because 1.001 plus 3 is bigger than 4. So we need a number bigger than 1. So let's, now let's look at, like I said, on the other end of things. Let's see. 5 works. Let's see if 6 works. Eventually, we'll come up with an easy-to-use formula to solve these kind of problems. But let's, let's try to explore it and think about it. <coughs> okay, so 6. Let's check out 6. We've got the 3, we've got the 4, what about 6? Two smaller numbers, and now our 3 and 4. 3 plus 4, bigger than 6, so 6 is a go. Alright, now let's check out 7. What about 7? 3, 4, 7. 3 plus 4 is not bigger than 7, so 7 is a no-go. Let me, let me write 7 in red. Okay, so 7 doesn't work, 6 does. What do you think about 6.5? Will that work? 6.5? Um, 3, 4, 6.5. 3 plus 4 is bigger than 6.5. That's good. How about 6.9? 3, 4, 6.9. 3 plus 4 is bigger than 6.9. Yep, that's good. So basically, what we want is everything that's bigger than 1 and everything that's less than 7. Now, do you see anything about 3, 4 and the numbers 1 and 7? One of them is the difference. 4 minus 3 is 1. One of them is the sum. So this kind of problem is actually very easy. All you do is say, hey, the answer is difference, which I'm going to abbreviate, is less than the third side. Sorry, the, the third, yeah, difference is less than the third side. And the third side is less than their sum. In other words, 4 minus 3, or 1, is less than the unknown side. And the unknown side has got to be less than 4 plus 3, or 7. That's all that there is to these problems. And this little experiment that we did here should help, you know, kind of convince you of this. All right, and of course the difference has to end up being a positive number. So um, you you don't want to say three minus four. You want to say four minus three, positive one, because we're talking about side lengths and they got to be positive. Let's try another problem like this. Two sides of a triangle with side lengths two and nine. Find all possible values of the third side. All right, you know the deal. Um, we're not going to run through that whole experiment looking at all the numbers again. We're simply going to use our nice handy shortcut. Difference. Right? Difference. Must be less than the unknown side, and the unknown side must be less than their sum. So 9 minus 2 must be less than x, must be less than 9 plus 2. In other words, 7 less than x, less than 11. 7.1 is good, 7.2 is good, 10 is good. And if you want to test the numbers out, um, you'll see that 7.1 works, right? Uh, 2, 9, and 7.1 works because 2 plus 7.1 is bigger than 9, right? That tests out like right in this area. But if it were 7, it wouldn't work. 2 plus 7 equals 9, no good. And you could test out 10 and you'd see it also works. I want to look at um, one last example, and then we'll wrap it up. Two, two sides of a triangle are th both three. Find all possible lengths of the third side. I want to look at this because I just want to make sure you're not thrown by something that might look a little weird here. All right, we're going to do our normal thing. Difference, less than the unknown side, less than the sum. So 3 minus 3 is less than x 
is less than 3 plus 3, or 0 less than x less than 6. I wanted to do this example because it's okay to have 0 here. We're not saying a side has to be 0. We're saying it has to be bigger than 0. So for our triangle, 3, 3, and you know question mark, 3, 3, and 0.1 works fine because 3 and 0.1 is bigger than 3. Okay, so just wanted to point out that even when you end up with a 0 here, we're not saying a side to be 0, we're saying it should be a little bigger than 0. Okay, that's it. We've got many other problems, um, including worksheets and answer keys, interactive applets, and other things at mathwarehouse.com uh, slash tryinec. And thanks a lot for listening.